Guys, in this video, I wanted to take some time to do a comparison between two of my scopes. These are both Arcan Optics scopes. This one that I have on my Ruger American Gen 2, you can see it is the Arcan SH4J Gen 2 six by 24 by 50 and over on my Remington 700 I have the EP5 5 by 25 by 56 and the reason that I wanted to do this is basically to give you guys a comparison a little bit more information between the similarities and the differences of these two scopes these scopes are considered by a lot of folks as a budget scope when you start talking about some of the more high-end scopes and at the same time these are something that if you want to make the investment and get a good optic uh, that you might want to look at and what I have done is I have actually printed the specs out on both of these scopes and I'm going to go through and later in this video so be sure to stick around I'm actually going to be mounting my camera to each of these scopes it's a little cloudy a little rainy outside and I'm going to actually show you what it looks like through each of these scopes now one thing that I want to mention before I do that is that when you are filming through a scope like this the clarity that you see in the video is nowhere near the same clarity that you see as you're looking through that scope so that's something that I do want to mention first off let's go ahead and go through the specs on the SH4J of course on my Remington uh, is the EP5 on my American is the SH4J you know this rifle is one that I have gotten a few videos on so go over and check those out on my channel of course the Arcan Optics SH4J it is a 6x24 magnification it has a 50 millimeter objective it has a three and a half inch eye relief it has a 20.88 uh, you can see it there, 5.22 foot at 100 yards. Uh, the size, of course, 34 millimeter tubes, one quarter MOA adjustments, first focal plane, uh, NPR, MOA reticle. Uh, you know, mine are both, uh, as far as the reticles that I have in mine, I have the MOA reticle and it is the Christmas tree reticle, which you're going to see in this video. Uh, of course the zero stop the uh, you know everything about these scopes it has the elevation adjustment range of 108.8 MOA uh, and of course when we do a comparison of some of those with the EP5 I'm just going to pull both of these up here to show you guys you do see on the SH4J it does have a little bit more of a magnification but don't let that fool you the big question is the clarity and of course the differences as we can see here the 50 millimeter objective versus the 56 millimeter objective which you can see here on these lenses or on the objectives of these it is slightly larger on the EP5 than what it is on the SH4J so that's going to help you especially in lower light you know that is going to gather a lot more light for you and help you to see your target a little bit better you know that is one of the big differences between these two scopes now let's go ahead and flip over here and give you just a little bit more get this other page out here to where you guys can see some more of the info on this and guys I would appreciate it as I'm fumbling around with these papers if you would go ahead give the video a thumbs up and be sure to share video and subscribe to my channel for more and I'm going to put links down in the description below where you can go over and look at these two scopes as well as get the current pricing on them uh, and there will be affiliate links over to Amazon just so you guys are aware of that now of course again some of the similarities and differences we see the windage adjustment range 30.4 or 34.4 MOA versus 55 MOA on the EP5. We also see on the adjustments per revolution, we see 20 MOA versus 25 MOA. And there again, mine are both MOA scopes. These are available 
in uh, you know the mill dots as well but this MOA was my preference when I got these of course we see side parallax adjustment 25 yards uh, to infinity on both of those and that's something that is great and just to show you guys on these scopes here here's your parallax adjustment that way it helps to make that target much clearer in your optic when you adjust for whatever range you are shooting for okay and just to continue we will go ahead and look here uh, of course they're both matte black uh, the weight on them the sh4j 36.6 ounces and on the ep5 is 39.2 both to come with sun shades and they both use the CR2032 batteries for the illuminated reticles. Both of these scopes are very nice. Both of them have had no issues when it comes to tracking. I did an unboxing video on the EP5 and on that in that video and i'll leave a card to it up here in the corner where you guys can go see that i actually done a tracking test if you guys want to check that out the tracking on these things have been spot on i've not had any problems with them losing zero or anything like that they are very well made one of the differences as well is the way that the turrets feel on the sh4j you know it feels great it is very tactile on the EP5, I will have to say that the turrets on it, they're just a little bit stiffer. Okay, It is just slightly stiffer when adjusting the turrets on the EP5 compared to my SH4J. You know, some people may think it's too stiff. Some people may think this one's too light. Who knows? Everyone has their own opinions and things like that on that. The throw on this, as far as the magnification... Uh, you can get throw levers for each of these that fit uh, on them. And, of course, on the EP5, it's a little easier to turn the magnification on the EP5 compared to what it is on the SH4J. Again, this is just purely uh, my examples of these. You know, you can feel that difference uh, depending on what your preference is on that. I do have them mounted up using the Arkin scope rings you know these are the low scope rings uh, just to show you as well because i know that i have had folks to ask about this the clearance on these particularly with these low scope rings just to show you guys just bear with me uh, you can see here with the scope rings it's kind of hard to see there is clearance there it is very light it is a very close fit with this rail but it is clearing it. I was able to get the scope leveled on this gun. If uh, you had seen the video that I did showing this rifle where I was putting the scope on it, uh, you can see there it's a very, very close fit, but there is a little bit of a gap there. Let me get it over here, a little bit better light. You can see that little knob there that sticks down slightly, but it does fit. It is level on this rifle, and it works great. Okay. Now, let me set this down, and bear with me because this one is a little bit heavier. Okay, my Remington is a lot heavier than my Ruger. And the same for this one. We can see there is a little bit of clearance there. You do have that little cap, that little button thing that sticks down right there, as you can see, on both of them. And with these particular rings, they are very close but they're not touching and it's the same with the magnification adjustment as well so now let me set this back down and what i'm going to do now guys i'm actually going to take these rifles outside i'm going to mount each of them up in my bog pod and i'm just going to show you what the view is going to be from each of these scopes Guys, first up is going to be the Arkin Optics SH4J Gen 2. I've got it sitting on my Ruger American Gen 2. And you can tell back behind me that it is kind of cloudy, kind of hazy out. So I wanted to do this comparison uh, during this type of weather simply because I'm sure a lot of you guys are probably curious about these scopes to put on your hunting rifle or something like that. And this might give you just a little bit better understanding of what it looks like when you're using one of these. Now I do want to remind you, as I had mentioned earlier, when you try to film through a scope, 
you never get the clarity on camera that you do when you're looking through that scope so just keep that in mind but for now guys i've got my mount onto this scope i'm just going to put my camera up on that and give you guys a picture through it we're going to go a couple different ranges and just kind of give you guys a better idea between these two scopes the picture that you're seeing here is a lot more hazy than what it is when you're actually looking through the scope i do have the parallax set for 100 yards and what i'm going to do now is simply zoom in and hope I can keep this to where you guys can see the objective. In fact, we just bear with me because I see it going out and I need to make a quick adjustment for you guys. I want you guys to have as much relative information on how these scopes look as you possibly can. Okay, that looks a little bit better. So now let's continue zooming in to those targets and showing you guys exactly what it's going to look like okay we are at on our way to full magnification right there is full magnification on this optic at 100 yards okay and of course this scope does have an illuminated reticle as you can see there of course it does not show up very well on that paper but you can see it now what I'm going to do now I'm actually going to pan out to a different range to where you can see a longer range view of what it looks like in this scope okay now what I'm looking at now I'm actually going to go over to a different tree line and show you guys what that looks like also of course I need to make an adjustment on the parallax and we are now headed out to approximately 300 yards if you see these trees as far as how they are and just let me back up the uh, magnification just a little bit to show you guys where we are on the sh4j that tree line that you're looking at there that i zoomed down to okay that tree line is approximately 300 yards okay you can see the fence row that is behind these trees i'm going to zoom down past that just to bring it up to full magnification okay that fence row down there is approximately 300 yards okay just so you all know just so you can kind of see the clarity of it you can see these trees again we are at full magnification and you can have a better idea of what it is just to see here get all the way out full magnification you can see the trees you can see what kind of detail that you see on them and again guys you are not getting the clarity looking through the camera lens as what you would when you're looking through the scope i'll try to do a side-by-side -side comparison between these two scopes and actually let it uh you know give you guys a side-by-side -side in the video just to see how well it looks Okay, for now, we're going to go over and jump to the EP5. Guys, now I have my Remington 700 set up in my bog pod uh, with the Arcan Optics EP5. It's going to be the same thing. I'm going to first show you at 100 yards, and then we're going to zoom out to 300 yards to show you how that the scope looks and i can't stress it enough guys the way that you're seeing these videos is nowhere near the clarity that you would see if you're actually going to look through one of these scopes okay so just keep that in your mind in mind guys because that is a very critical thing when trying to judge the quality of these scopes guys we are now looking through the arcan optics ep5 at 100 yards you can see those targets down there and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to zoom in on them just to kind of show you how the uh, these two look okay you can see here your objective of course this is an illuminated reticle as well i just need to uh, replace the battery that's in this one but there it is at 100 yards now we're going to swing around go out to 300 just like what we did before on the others First of all, let me back this up just a bit to where I can see the same spot. That's what I want to do. I want to have a comparison between the same spots on these. Okay, there's 300 yards. I'm going to go ahead and adjust the parallax on the EP5. Get it set 
where it needs to be and now we're going to zoom in on 300 yards also in the same haze that i had mentioned with the sh4j uh, we see that with this one as well that's why i say don't judge these scopes uh, just based on uh, what you're seeing in the video and of course my camera is wanting to be a little bit fussy as well so, but you can kind of see there what we look like now of course i'm having an issue here let's get this my camera to refocus it's kind of a, another one of the challenges guys is getting your camera gear to work the way that you want it to Uh, you can see there, camera is the, my camera is slightly out of focus. You can see the reticle, or the lack of reticle right now. Just trying to get it to come back into focus. Let's zoom back out. Now, now I got my camera focus. We'll zoom back in just to show you the tree line. And it keeps wanting to lose focus when I try to get it pulled up. So, all right, guys, this is again my camera not wanting to stay focused when I zoom in. But you can see 300 yards what that tree looks like looking through the Arcan Optics EP5. Okay, it took just a minute but I've got it in focus you can see here we're now looking at 300 yards is where those trees are you can kind of see what the clarity looks like but again it is nowhere near as clear as what you would see through the scope when you're looking through it just kind of pan around let you guys see what it looks like So if any of you guys are interested in something like this for your hunting rifle, I would appreciate it if you would check the affiliate links down below this video. Just a comparison between the Arcan Optics EP5 and the Arcan Optics SH4J Gen 2. Uh, this is just some way to give you a little bit more information as far as what the clarity difference is with these two. It's real hard to tell looking at them through the camera. As far as what the differences are, there might be just a little bit brighter, uh, you know, more light coming through the EP5 than what there is in the EP4 on the camera. Uh, just to show you as far as where we were looking, uh, you know, down range, you can see the tree line down there. Somewhere about right in here, you know, that's around where 300 yards is. And, of course, the targets down range, uh, you can see kind of in this area here as about a hundred yards you can kind of see them back there behind me but anyways guys hope you liked the video let me know your thoughts down in the comments below have you heard of arc and optics have you used them uh, what are your thoughts on them let me know down in the comments below these are not the super expensive scopes that are out there on the market but they are more of a, I guess you could say, budget-minded for some folks, but I, I wouldn't consider them to be a budget scope. I'll just be honest with you guys. Uh, they are made in China. Uh, they do feature the Japanese glass. And again, guys, the clarity that you're seeing in the video is nowhere near what these scopes actually look like. I'm very happy with both of mine. You can see that EP5 sitting back there on my 700, and glad to have them. And guys... You know, this is something that uh, I would be happy to have more of. In fact, I probably will. Uh, but guys, thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. I'd appreciate it if you would sub subscribe to the channel, share the video, and be sure to hit the notification bell as well. And as always, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.